We will be visiting today a 23 meter a modern trawler that was built by Mengia a shipyard. This boat is sold directly from the shipyard. It's a new boat. Uh, she is CE uh, certificate with uh, module A. That means the highest module, ocean. Uh, she's powered by two 715 horsepower Cummins engines, uh, Humphrey stabilizers. Uh, she's full with features. I'm going to take you through a full walkthrough video and uh, show you all her features with detailed uh, information. Now this video is going to be very long, so if you want to move from one part of this video to the other, use the chapters at the video description below. You will also find there a link to the web page of the yacht. By clicking it, you will be led directly to this uh, web page, which you will find photos and the full specifications list. We are starting this video from the bow. Uh, I made another two videos of this boat during the construction. If you are interested to see this boat from inside out, you might want to check them. You will find the links at the video description below. So here we are in the bow. There are two windlasses here from Data. Each one is connected to 100 meter of chain. One here, one here at the starboard side. Uh, there are two anchors here, uh, uh, Danford uh, anchors and very sharp bulb under the water line which is quite well seen now. As you can see the, the shape of the bow which is nearly 90 degrees to the water that gives a lot of volume inside the boat which we will see as we go down. Very spacious place down here in the front. Now, uh, it is very important to say what we are seeing today is a, a boat which is 97% ready. Uh, the, the team of Mengiai Shipyard is now finalizing all the last details. Uh, some of the things are still covered to protect uh, from the workers uh, from any damage. Uh, some of the uh, corking, as you can see here, of the tic tac hasn't been cut finally yet. Uh, you will see a lot of details like that. And again, the reason is because the boat is totally new and uh, we're just making the, the final uh, tune up before delivering the boat. Uh, now, uh, we are moving on the port side and you can see this uh, stainless railing, very easy to maintain. Huge windows, beautiful view from inside out as you, we will see later on during the video. Moving astern, these are the intakes of the engine room for fresh air. And here we are at the uh, at the stern uh, deck, at the aft deck. And as I explained, the boat is uh, still uh, not equipped. Uh, the idea is to leave it like that until uh, the, her next owner or her first owner actually will appear. And according to that. Uh, built the furniture, the table, or the setup here and in some other places in the boat according to the new owner wishes and ideas. Two capstans from Data here and uh, bullards, massive bullards, electrical uh, operation, foot operation for the um, for these capstans and a line lead down here have another look from this angle. Now today we will do it a little bit unusual. We will step down and see the water platform and later the engine room. So let me explain a little bit about this uh, water platform arrangement. This area uh, is a water platform uh, which goes down and up as we can see now. 
Now, here is the passerelle, which can also be used as water platform. It can be lowered down to the water and lifted up to be used as a passerelle to enter and exit the boat from the stern. Now from here we will proceed up to visit the flybridge before we go inside to check the inner part of the boat. This is another good opportunity to see the boat from a different angle and to get the impression of this huge aft deck that can be arranged in different ways. Either a table here with a couch and few uh, few chairs, uh, some storage place can be added there. This can all be set up according to the wish of the new owner. Now we are climbing up to the flybridge. There is a big hardtop here with lead lights embedded inside and with some uh, open windows. And on top of that, there are some solar panels. Now, again, and as explained, this flybridge is now nearly empty and ready for the decision of the new owner how to set it up. It can be set up with loose furniture or it can be set up with some fixed furniture everything according to the wish of the new owner. Storage spaces underneath and helm station with very good view forward. Everything the captains needs to uh, navigate and maneuver this boat. Uh, throttles for the Cummins engines uh, with uh, a indication about engine, engines, parameters, starboard engine, port side engine, rudder indicator, bow thruster, stern thruster, and some um, uh, switches to control lights and engine start. And of course, Raymarine uh, chart plotter, which can be switched to the radar and have all the navigation information necessary. There is another uh, helm station at the closed pilot house, which we will visit a little bit later. And here is this uh, vast flybridge from a different angle. The lights are very nicely embedded. Also speakers, music speakers. There are five of them here. So you can make a small disco here or play quiet classical music according to your preferences. So, and here we have a small wet bar, electrical uh, griller from Mille, stainless steel uh, sink, which is still not connected as you can see down here below. Ice maker, not connected yet. And storage and place to connect the piping for the sink. And the last one is a big fridge from Liberer, quite a big fridge uh, for beverages, beers, so on. And last look at the flybridge. And from here, we will step back and down to the main deck. and we will check the interior of the boat. So here we are in the salon. As I explained a few times, uh, the salon is not completed yet 
and the shipyard decided to keep it in this uh, condition. There are a few technical things here on the floor. Uh, basically, the future owner of this boat can arrange the salon according to his or her preferences, setting up the furniture uh, and so on. Um, the, the floor is kind of a wooden look flooring like this. At the moment, it's uh, protected with uh, some protection. Uh, you have this huge, huge window, so any seating arrangement will allow to very comfortably look outside and enjoy the view. Now, um, we are still, or the shipyard is still waiting for the electrical curtains, which will be operated with a remote control. So if there is too much sun, uh, you can uh, take it down. Uh, from outside, as you saw, there is, you cannot see inside due to the dark uh, windows. So in terms of privacy, you can see what's happening outside and uh, the outside is very limited to see what is going on inside the salon. Let's turn the camera. It's quite a good volume boat. Uh, what I think I missed, and I will step a little bit back, is the TV, which is located here and popped out to this direction. Uh, the light arrangement in all the boat is like that, that they're a little bit uh, sunk inside, and that is a very good arrangement because if you look now at the, at the ceiling, you don't have any uh, thing which is disturbing your eyes, and on the other hand, the light is flowing very nice to a specific area which has been defined. So from here, uh, we will go to see the pilot house, the closed pilot house, and the galley. Pilot house is behind this door. <coughs> and let's quickly see uh, what we see here. So this uh, area is actually divided into two, the pilot house and the galley. And let's start quickly with the pilot house. There is uh, more equipment here than the open helm. There are three screens, two from Raymarine, from one from uh, Schneider, which is, the, which is the, the ship control. This one, you can actually uh, check any system on board by clicking this menu, navigation lights, interior control, bilge system, uh, ventilation system, which is not, not set up yet, um, tank capacities, and so on. And there are two big screens from Raymarine, one here and one here, which you can display anything you wish, like the chart plotter, radar, security cameras, AIS, and, and so on and so forth. So down here we have some uh, operation for the windlasses and the wipers. There are two windlasses, so this is up, this is down. Uh, we have control for the Humphrey electrical stabilizers, which are electrical stabilizers. This, is, uh, this unit is controlling uh, the Raymarine chart plotters. Two gouges, digital gouges for the Cummins engine, a compass, rudder indicator, a autopilot from Raymarine again, and multi-display from Raymarine. You can switch between data and languages. Now some of it is switched to the Turkish language, but you can set up any language inside. And the throttles down below VHF from Raymarine and another uh, electrical panel uh, which shows the generators, uh, the two color generators um, and and the water maker uh, display, as well as uh, some switches for the 220 um, machinery. Some of the galley oven, uh, aspirator, and so on. So this is, this is the closed pilot house equipment. 
let me remind you the boat is uh, CE certified module A which is the highest module it's ocean that means that the boat has been tested for stability uh, integrity of the hull for the harsh, uh, most harsh conditions uh, for this level uh, here on the port side there is a door so if the captain needs to go out and check something on the bow or on the stern he doesn't have to go through the guest area through the salon now this we are going to have a window here which will separate the the pilot house from the galley in case you have splashes of water from the sink and so on uh, smells so this will be installed uh, in the in the coming days now we are just cross another door which is this door and we will go inside I'll take this chair out <coughs> and we will go into the galley okay so this is this is the galley quick look and it continues here with a place for the fridge and a, another working uh, surface and some uh, windows we will start from here uh, at least to my opinion uh, it could be another opening here I mean to leave this window and have some kind of a small counter to uh, provide uh, or service the food from here but this is something which is very easy uh, to to change and the shipyard will do it for uh, for a client if you wish so a very big fridge from Siemens uh, this side is the, the fridge it has never been operated yet it's totally new this is the freezer and there is an uh, ice maker here combined down here some uh, space for storage same on the other side and turning again the camera forward it's a reasonable size galley though it looks a little bit small at the first look but actually it's a very reasonable size galley um, working surfaces here and there and some storage spaces which are quite deep inside uh, you can store quite a lot of products up here as well as uh, under this under the uh, the marble and down here we have a induction stove from uh, Millet and we have an oven from Millet and here we have a dishwasher full-size dishwasher as well as additional uh, storage spaces for everything which is needed uh, in the galley here you can place a cutlery and in the front there is a there is a sink and some um, vent uh, vent uh, channels with air conditioning so that was about it in this area we will step outside of uh, this area and we will go to see the last part of uh, the interior which is the uh, guest cabins and from there we will go to see the engine room so that's another look at the salon and we are turning right to the port side and there is quite a convenient stairway which leads us down down uh, of course here in this gap we are going to have some kind of a railing uh, protecting people uh, from falling down to the stairs proceeding down and let's have a quick look at this corridor uh, the width of it is very reasonable you don't feel too much claustrophobic on on the other hand uh, the space is not wasted so forward there 
uh, we see the VIP cabins here on the starboard side there is a guest cabin and here on the port side another guest cabin but we will start from the master cabin you can already see the colors that have been used um, light colors and this is the master cabin which is full beam the light system is fantastic there is quite a lot of uh, sunlight coming in but still the electrical light is affecting and uh, working very well dressing area with some uh, storage spaces underneath here large window this is a very thick glass to meet the CE certificate uh, module A still uh, they did it and it's it's very pleasant to have um, such a, such a sunlight coming in and here we are in the ensuite uh, there is a sink here underneath some storage space toilet and good size shower no need to mention everything is clean new without scratches and odorless rain shower and very easy to clean these surfaces stepping back into the cabin itself on the other side this is the here you will have a, some small couch it doesn't have the mattress yet and as you can see all the all the flooring are protected but this is the kind of carpet that has been chosen by the shipyard um, if the future owner uh, wish it's quite easy to change the carpet color and shouldn't be too expensive now behind this door which is still part of the master cabin there is a, a generous walk-in walk uh, wardrobe a hanging arrangement all around it and some surface underneath and down here a lot of uh, storage space for personal belongings with uh, at least seven drawers one of them is more flat additional here very convenient we are stepping back into the master cabin final look at the master cabin and from here we will go to check the other uh, guest cabins stepping out back to the corridor there are only two stairs dividing uh, the guest cabins which is also an advantage some boats you are climbing four steps you're going up you're going down here you just have to, once you're in the corridor in the guest cabins you just have two stairs you climb and then you have the rest of the guest cabins here on the starboard side there is a there is a twin cabin bed reasonable size again with a large window and behind me separated with the door the ensuite reasonable size sink and toilet and shower with special light here protected from uh, humidity we are going out from this uh, starboard guest cabin back to the corridor a little bit forward and left to the port side this cabin is a double uh, bed cabin um, again with this uh, big window uh, it, it will also have a shade uh, if you wish to uh, avoid sun sunlight so but it, it hasn't been arrived yet 
it's going to be manual and uh, not electrically operated it has its own ensuite quite similar by size uh, to the one that we just saw a little bit different arrangement same materials are used very easy to clean and maintain and from here we will go to see the last cabin which is the VIP cabin going out to the corridor turning left and we are in the cabin moving forward let's close this door so we can see it better now this VIP cabin related to the size of the boat feels very very large the reason is that the bow uh, and the whole arrangement the whole hull shape uh, is very bulky and um, so it gives a lot of space here even though we are very much forward of the hull and it has a uh, suite which is slightly larger than the starboard and port side guest cabins very clean very pleasant uh, tune of colors uh, it is kind of an off-white with uh, somehow brownish pinky but you don't really feel the pink I, I'm not sure that the camera is representing it but it's uh, it's a good thing not to have a total white uh, color there is a mirror here and two windows in both sides so that was the guest cabins we are back into the corridor from here we will step up to the main deck and the last thing we are going to see uh, will be the engine room i'm going to make a uh, quite a long explanations about the machinery and um, if you want to learn more about the boat you can visit her webpage by using the link at the video description below or you can click the card you will find uh, the icon at the top out of the screen and here we are again in the aft deck we will cross it now five stairs down and we are entering the engine room two stairs down and we are inside now just before the engine room the crew area is located here on the starboard side there is a joined um, bathroom for the crew toilet and sink and then again still uh, working tools of the technical team which is finalizing the construction shower reasonable size which is uh, now full with the cleaning materials on the other side just crossing again the corridor a uh, washing machine and dryer from uh, Siemens covered with nylon to be protected and small area for storage down there at the corner there is a emergency steering not very comfortable to operate but better than nothing good to have and we are turning back into the corridor second door on the starboard side is the captain's cabin one single bed window natural light and uh, storage space for personal belongings and from here the captain actually has a door private door to the crew bathroom back to the corridor and on the other side uh, there is a crew cabin with two banks and storage space for personal belonging uh, inside the same window uh, as the captain's cabin has so we are turning the camera facing forward and a uh, few stairs forward and here we are in the engine room 
it's very well equipped engine room, it's totally new. Uh, Mengi has a lot of experience uh, with the art construction, everything is in its place. Um, at the heart of this engine room, there are two uh, Cummins engines, uh, diesel engines. At the moment, they have eight hours, eight hours. Uh, that has been gathered just for from the sea trials. Uh, there are two generators here from Kohler, here in the starboard side, and another one on the port side. Some of the bilge area is open, so you can see the quality of construction. Um, these red electrical valves are related to the fire pumps um, and the bilge pumps. Down there, there are two fire pumps and bilge pumps. Uh, and up here, there are two freshwater pumps, 24 volts and 220 volts uh, with hydro force, two hydro force. Now here on the forward uh, wall, we can see some electrical units. These are the battery chargers for the um, for the bow thruster backup uh, batteries uh, the other two units are related to the solar panels which are installed on the hardtop um, underneath here we can see the local gouges for the main engine this is for the port side for this engine and this is for the starboard for this engine here at the top uh, this this machine is actually for emergency, in case of fire, it will spread CO2 to extinguish uh, um, extinguish the fire in case it occurs, God forbid. Now, just behind me, there is a big block. It looks like a fridge uh, from Batron. Inside it, there are um, uh, batteries, uh, ion batteries, ion lithium batteries, and these three units, one, two, three, uh, are doing two things. They are charging these uh, batteries inside, but they are also inverters. So this boat, once the batteries are charged, can be a quiet boat. She can work approximately 10 hours without generators, and that includes the air conditioning. That's, that's a great advantage for a boat. Uh, so you can stay on anchor at night, totally silent, very, very good feature. Um, here on the port side, there is the air conditioning system. There are two units here from uh, Marine Cold, and you will have the data of the uh, coolant capacity uh, at the web page. You will find the link at the video description below. Now, some special feature for this boat uh, with special attention. The, the exhaust pipes are connected via uh, brackets from rubber to reduce any vibration. The boat is very smooth while she's going. Uh, and same here, this, these two supports are supporting the exhaust and it's connected with the rubber uh, shock absorbers and another line for water which is going uh, to another section of the exhaust all this to reduce vibrations and noise and it's working very very nicely the boat has uh, Humphrey uh, stabilizers uh, electrical stabilizers this is the control panel and uh, also she has a special fin at the stern uh, which according to Mengi uh, reduces the fuel consumption by 7%. Um, now here we are in the starboard side. Uh, there is a water maker which produces a 120 liter per hour from uh, Hydromar a big uh, boiler to heat uh, water for showers, galliots and so on uh, with 120 liters and this blue uh, tank is a water filterization system 
for the for the water which are coming from the uh, tanks. Now here there is a, another uh, another air conditioning system which is not connected yet, but this uh, unit is just for the engine room. So when someone is working in the engine room, it can be operated, and uh, and this uh, can make his life easier in the hot engine room. Beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, electrical panels. Here on the right side, it's the 24 volts. On the left side is the 220 volts. Uh, two tanks behind these corners, one here and one there. There is total of 5,600 liters of uh, diesel fuel. Uh, this at 9.5 knots. This capacity will take this boat at uh, nearly 1,100 nautical miles which is uh, quite reasonable for the Mediterranean. So that was the, that was the Zima project, 23 meter from Mengiai. Uh, let me remind you, if you want to learn more about this boat, you can visit her webpage by using the link at the video description below, um, or click the card at the top part of the, of the screen.